Welcome to ClueCore Omics Explorer. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to add both sample and variable annotations to a data set. We have loaded an example file that is already saved as a GE data file, ClueCore's internal format. This data set has 12 samples and only one sample annotation, sample ID. It is quite common that annotations are not included when you import data. They need to be added in a separate step because the annotations are necessary to be able to perform statistical analysis and, for example, work with coloring in ClueCore Omics Explorer. This file requires more annotations so that we can undertake further analysis, and we will now demonstrate different ways to add annotations. If you don't already have a sample annotation file, you can generate it from the software. Go to the File menu and select Export Sample Annotation and export the file. The file is exported as a tab-separated text file. Find the file and open it in Excel. The existing sample annotation is already in the file, in this case the unique sample ID, which is necessary to be able to match any new annotation with your dataset. Then we add new annotations by adding new columns. In this case, we add the annotation treatment and give it two values, treated and control. You can add as many columns as you like. We then save the file and import it by selecting Import Sample Annotations in the File menu. We select All Annotations and press OK. In the Sample tab, we can now see the new annotation treatment, and it can be used to color plots and to set up statistical tests. You can also use an existing annotation file, which should be a tab-separated text file or a comma-separated file. To create a tab-separated text file, the use of a spreadsheet program like Excel is a good option. Here's an annotation file where we have added three annotations. The sample annotation file that will be imported should have at least two columns, but can have many more. The first column should contain a sample identifier that matches the unique ID in your data set, and the following column contains information about the annotation you want to add. You can now save it as a tab delimited text file. If you're unsure which is the unique identifier in your data set, go to the Data tab to verify it. If you change the identifier, you should normally make sure that you change it to an identifier that is unique meaning that there is a unique value for each sample. To import the created text file, we again select Import Sample Annotations from the File menu. We choose to add the age and gender annotations to the data set this time. And once imported, they can be used for coloring and to set up statistical tests. Variable annotations are imported in the exact same way. The annotation file layout is the same, the only difference is that the unique ID should now only consist of the variable ID. We will now import this variable annotation file and want to add the annotation chromosome to the dataset. Import the variable annotation file from the file menu. Select the annotation file to be imported and then press OK. Variable annotations can be viewed in the list view using the column selector tool. Here we can see that the annotation chromosome has been added. After importing the annotations, we recommend to save the data set as a GE data file again so that the new annotations are included in the data set. There's also a wizard for importing annotations which is very useful if you have more complex annotation files. Let's reload the dataset without annotations and use the wizard to import sample annotations. We select the file to be imported and then step through the five steps in the wizard. First, we need to select the separator, which is tab. Then we define the orientation of this file. Information is organized in rows. Then we select the top header cell of the annotation that contains the unique identifier. We select the sample ID. And lastly, we select the annotations we would like to include. Now the annotations are available in the sample annotation dropdown. 
as you can see, there's also a wizard for importing variable annotations, which works in exactly the same way. Don't forget to save the data file once you have added sample annotations. To summarize, in this tutorial, we have demonstrated different ways to add both sample and variable annotations and how to save them in the data set. You are now ready to start analyzing your data. For further analysis support, there are more video tutorials on the website. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching and good luck with your analysis.